I've created a customer loyalty program, and in order to illustrate that, I've created a fictitious coffee company called Sacred Bean. And so I'm going to take you through a process of building a customer loyalty program using Sacred Bean Coffee Shop as an example. So watch with me as we go. The first thing that you need is a way to collect the person's the potential buyer's information. So here it is. We're going to treat you special. This is a little QR code. You scan that QR code and they are brought immediately to this platform right here where they can, on their phone, enter the three things that they need to have in order for uh, them to be a part of this coffee club. First of all, they have to give their name, their phone number, and their email address and then hook them up. And what that does then is it then sends them a text message text message like this and when you you know just a simple text message says hey Eric I was thinking about our value customers this morning wanted to share something special with you uh, check it out here and so you click on that link and that link will take you directly to let me make sure I have the right one here will take you directly to this platform right here which is the special Monday deal uh, which either looks like that and or can look like. All right. Once they have clicked on the text message that with the link, then they're taken directly to here, which is the special Monday deal. That special Monday deal, they have a couple of options. They can save the deal to their phone which is fine and then they can walk into the the coffee shop and redeem the the deal from inside the coffee shop which is how you want them to do it anyhow they've got to come in to buy make a purchase all right they have to be select more to redeem in the store you can redeem it once they're inside the store they can also call the store if they wanted to do that or they could share that deal with their friends so they have a lot of options there once they have clicked on that then they have some that there's also the capability of being able to find a map right here in case they forgot how to get to your store uh they, they would have the ability to be able to do that so then what's what they're taken to is this image right here which is where they would redeem the deal now this will say redeemed across the bottom of this and then once it's been redeemed what you're going to see is this uh, this will then have a big check mark there to indicate that that uh, deal has been redeemed inside of the store because they can only use it one time. We want to make sure that we preserve the integrity of the program by doing that. The other thing that you can do with this platform, there's several other things that you can do with this platform, but the other thing from a customer loyalty standpoint is that we've also built a loyalty for the more frequently that you come back. We built a loyalty program like that for the store. So let me find that image here and you can see that that's this one right here and what you see here is this is a loyalty program on the fifth visit uh you earn uh, after the fifth visit you earn a free iced coffee uh on that sixth visit and so that's redeemed in the same way it's redeemed with qr code that pops up anytime that the redemption of that is requested and then the only thing that has to be uh, has to be on the the coffee shops end of the deal is they have to have the ability to scan that QR code. When they scan that QR code, the green check mark pops up on the on the coffee shop's phone, and it also pops up on the customer's phone. There has to be a redemption code that's put in there. So there's three things: you collect the information, uh, the coffee shop has to have a way to scan the code and they have to have the redemption code. That way you preserve the integrity of the program.